Okay, good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian Ben Sion. Today we're going to analyze the Darim Daf Nun Vav number 56. The Mishnah has a machlokas. I know they're in a bias. First Mishnah. I know they're in a bias. Mutter Baalia. You take another, you're not going to go into your house. You can somehow, if you can figure out a way to get to the attic without going into your house, you're allowed to. They're very mayor. Come on, I'm going to come and say, no. What do people, when you say a house, right? I meant to exclude the aliyah. The attic is not part of the house. No. When I say I'm not going to go into my house, or I'm not going to go into Bibi Netanyahu's house, because I don't like Bibi Netanyahu. It's not true. I do like Bibi Netanyahu. But if I were to say that, or I wouldn't say, I don't want to go into Lieberman's house. So, you know, I couldn't go in at all. Even to the attic, I couldn't go. Because when you say someone's house, you include what's normally considered part of the house. And the aliyah, I would think most people would say the attic is part of the house. Hard to understand that, like we say, Nadarim, Halakhaka, Lashem, and the other, you go after what people commonly refer to as a house, and they refer to the Aliyah, is included in your definition of a house. So the question falls back on Rabbi Meir. How does he exclude Aliyah? So if you look in the Gemara, the Gemara seemingly gives the source why he excludes it, because the Gemara brings a Bryce, a Montana, a Bias, a Bias, a Rabbis, a Aliyah. This is a Pasuk by declaring a house that has saras. It says Babayis, an extra Babayis to include the Aliyah. I'm Rav Chisra, Rav Meir, he must Rav Meir, the Yerabana, I'm Rabana, Aliyah, Bechal, Abayis. The Torah goes out of his way by a bias that has saras to say Babayis, an extra Babayis, and tell you the Aliyah is included. Sounds like what? If it didn't tell me this, I would think the Aliyah is not included. Sounds like Aliyah is not part of the bias. Now, obviously, this is not Allah Haman and Dharam. This is Allah Haman defining a house for saras. So you see from the Pasha to the Pasuk, right? Ali is not part of the Ba'is. How did the Rabbana answer that? So the Rabbana answer, they can say that the, the Bryce still fits with them. There's different Pasuk over there. I feel the Rabbana, it says by Taras of the bottom, it says, Now, it doesn't sound like it's telling you, Eretz Achuzaskem normally tells me that Taras only applies in Eretz Israel, which is true. Taras of bottom only applies in Eretz Israel, but it says Aretz next to Bias. So I would think that only the part of the house is attached to the ground, the main part of the house, right? And the, the Aliyah, the attic, is not attached to the house. It's right on the third floor, the second floor. Now, according to this, it would seemingly be, I be saying a big Kiddush, that even the second floor, which is not attached to the house, not attached to the ground, would also be Mutter. But that's what I'm going to say. Because it says base close to Eretz, therefore I would think only the part of the house which is connected to the ground is considered part of the house by Tsaras. And the Aliyah is not. Hamash Malan, Babai is the Rabbah's Aliyah. But when it comes to the Dharam, Halakha Chalashem Adam, of course the Aliyah is part of the Bayez. So, obviously a mayor says, we never would have thought such a thing. We never would have thought, Be'ez Ha'ez Ha'ezazkam, you can look in the Gemara in Megillah and Da'af Kalvav, it's Darshan's about the Apostle, you know, Ha'ezazkam, whether in Yushalayim there's, but Sarasa Batim, but Eric Israel, there definitely is Sarasa Batim. What about Yushalayim? Yushalayim is Chakal Shvatim. Was it divided? Is it joint ownership over Yushalayim? Everyone owns Yushalayim. Can you have private ownership in Yushalayim? But the basic premise of the Pasuk is to tell you that Eric Israel is the only place where you can have Sarasa Batim. So I wouldn't have even thought to say, Beis Akhazal, Eric Akhazal, only to Mechubar La'ara. What do you mean it? Because it doesn't make any sense. Because then when you say only the first floor, or the second floor, it's also not attached to the ground, that's just on top of the first floor. So it doesn't make any sense. And that's the Pasha. According to Remeyer, it doesn't make any sense. So Remeyer would say, the Rabbana are giving a Dachak answer. They're giving a very difficult answer. It's it's really the Psukim are Mashma, the, the Brisa, which says, Babayas, the Rabbos, Aliyah, by Tsaras Abatim, seem to indicate that Ali is not part of the Bayas. So it comes out, according to Remeyer, that the Torah is indicating, right? The simple explanation of the Torah is that. Bayis does not include an aliyah. Now, even though when people colloquially refer to a house, they refer to the attic, but the Torah's definition doesn't have to be based on people's, the way people use the words. Torah is the absolute definition. A house is, is the main part of the house. Aliyah is you store things there. You don't really live there. So Ramir says, go after the Lashon of the Torah. The Rabbanan say, no. And the Dharam of the Adam. So we've encountered this before, right? The Gemara on Daf and Aleph says, Right, when you have psukim, the Gemara first tried to go after the psukim. When there was a conflict, hanoldim, right, sometimes meant children already born, sometimes meant people that will be born. So, therefore, you have to decide machria based on a dharma ha'achar lashem 
However, we did see the Gemara on Daphne and Gimel where it talks about dag dagim, right? Daga. What does the word daga mean? Does daga mean small fish? Does it mean uh, big fish also, right? It seemed to be in the it seemed to be from the Gemara that the Torah um, was mashma one way. Daga seems to be mashma also small fish, but yet nonetheless, even though the Torah is mashma one way. Right, we still go when the Dharma Hakalakashama Yadam. Here the Gemara is introducing a third application of this uh, of of understanding the Dharm. The Gemara Nun Gimel, right? On, on Lamed Aleph, the Gemara was equal, 50-50. The Torah is not clear, so go after the Dharma Hakashama Yadam. On Daf Nun Gimel, it's a mashma, right? It's not clear from the Torah because it could be that that Gemara says that Yonah was swallowed by a big fish, and maybe he was spit in, he was spat out into a smaller fish. That got, it's not conclusive from the Torah, so therefore maybe it's only seventy percent proof, right, that it includes small fish, or that includes big fish. I'm sorry. So therefore, Narmar Kalashem Adam goes and tells you, in a case where it's not completely clear, then you go. Here it's telling you, Rameir is saying the Torah is not nine, not seventy percent. Chance, ninety percent chance. This is, you know, the opponent saying very duck answer over here, right? So ninety percent from the pasuk. The mayor says, go after the pasuk, and this is the chiddush that opponent saying no. The darum hachar arkalashem adam. You still go after the adam, even if it's a mamish stira. The Torah really seems to indicate you have ruba rove, a strong rove, ninety percent rove. Nonetheless, the Torah says the way of evaluating a darum is not based on the Torah. It's based on the lashon of an adam. And this seems to be the conclusion. Now, again, it is 90%. If the Torah was 100%, maybe, maybe there's a place to say that you go after the Lashon of the Torah. But it seems from this Gemara, and we pass on like Rabbana, that you go after the Dharma Lashon of the Adam, even when it's connected to the Torah. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.